Back on October 1st of 2017, I made a video titled, Things I Miss About Destiny 1. In this video, I had a lot to say about things that I missed, and watching it again, I realized that a lot of things I missed have actually come full circle and are now in Destiny 2, in some way or another. So let's watch the video, let's see what I have to say, and I'm going to discuss how those things have been introduced into Destiny 2, and how they have made the game better. Okay, so before we get into this video, I just want to make a disclaimer, this is not to hate on Destiny 2. I think Destiny 2 is a great game. Yoikes. Okay, because I can't stand hearing myself talk for more than three seconds, we're just going to skip to the points that I brought up in this video. So the first thing is sparrow flying. This is easy. Okay, so sparrow flying has not even come close to making a return, which makes me very upset. Um, I'm very doubtful that it will actually make a return. I, After making this video, I learned how to sparrow fly in Destiny 2, and it's just not even close to as fun as doing it in Destiny 1. And because they already have those perks in the sparrows, I'm assuming they will never add sparrows that have the in-air um, turning capabilities that sparrow flying sparrows have. But I could be wrong, and if they ever do add sparrow flying sparrows into Destiny 2, I will be a very happy camper. Um, later on in this part, I talk about how sparrows in Destiny 1 were very strong compared to sparrows in Destiny 2. They could take more hits. Um, while this is true, in Destiny 2, you can get sparrows that spawn instantly, and they have kind of perks that help your guy out in other ways, like you can reload when you get on sparrows, that kind of thing. So, in my opinion, sparrows in Destiny 1 are better, but Destiny 2 sparrows are not, are not horrible. Um, either. Having sparrows at instant spawn is actually insanely useful. Alright, moving on. Strikes. Strikes are the worst part about Destiny 2. They're not even implemented into the game. It's literally just a playlist. Like, you can't access strikes individually, which is so poor, and they don't even have a heroic a heroic um, playlist or anything. Strikes are bare bones as shit in Destiny 2. They give you trash rewards compared to public events, and they're just not fun to play. They're so long. There's only like five of them right now. I don't know, strikes are just easily the worst aspect of Destiny 2, maybe behind PvP. But Okay, so I just absolutely shit on strikes in this video. Um, I do agree with myself at this time of making the video. Uh, strikes were really, really bad. Strikes are a little better now. We have heroic strikes with daily modifiers that change which is nice we got nightfall scoring which is also nice um, although scoring really doesn't do anything besides give you like the emblem um, I talk about how strikes are really long in destiny 2 now since weapons like the whisper of the worm and things like that have come out like really really powerful weapons strikes go a lot faster than they used to so I don't think it was so much that the strikes were long I think it was just that we as guardians were really weak. Um, now we know how to do the strikes faster, we can do them faster, we have better gear to do them faster. It's almost They're almost as fast as D1 strikes. Um, I talk about the quantity of strikes at the time, which is a pretty low blow, seeing as the game did just come out. This, the game does have a lot more strikes now. Although I get the same strike, just it repeats over and over. Like it'll Every day I'll just be like a cycle between two strikes. I'll never get different ones like on a certain day, it's weird. I also talk about how the rewards for strikes is very underwhelming. This has now changed. Strikes actually give a ton of rewards, um, which is very nice. A lot more than public events give now, which is good. And one of the earlier points I made too in this part is that strikes are not implemented in the game. They're just a playlist in some other dimension. Uh, Come Forsaken Strikes will be on the destination map, which is awesome, I cannot wait for that. Which will allow people to grind like, individual strikes that they want to grind, it allows for strike speedruns to be optimized, stuff like that, which is cool. So pretty much every gripe I've, I had about strikes in this video has been fixed. I still don't enjoy strikes as much as I do in Destiny 1. That could either be nostalgia, it could be because... I could have very different loadouts while playing strikes in Destiny 1, which come Forsaken should that issue should be fixed, which is going to be awesome. Um, or maybe I just I don't know. Maybe just Destiny 1 is just a better game to play. But 
Either way, I do enjoy strikes in Destiny 2 at this moment, which is good. And on top of this, the strike specific loot was definitely one of the main reasons for people to grind strikes. And I, I Since this video, strikes in Destiny 2 have gotten strike specific loot. So, you know, good one, Bungie. Another thing in Destiny 1 that I really miss is the ornament system on endgame gear. Once again, Bungie has now added ornaments to endgame gear and on top of that, PvP gear and uh, PvE gear, not just endgame gear specifically. Uh, but they didn't really take it all the way. The ornaments are kind of meh. They're just really bland. They kind of just change either the pattern or the shading that the item gives. With like the Prestige Eater of Worlds gear, or like the pre, uh, or sorry, the ornament gear for the Prestige. Holy shit, can I talk today? <laughs> With the ornaments for like the Eater of Worlds or the ornaments for Spire of Stars, they do add kind of like a visual glow to them. Not necessarily a glow, it's kind of like a weird hologram in front of the gear. It looks okay, but it's nothing compared to the ornament system that was in Destiny 1. And I really, really hope to see Destiny or Bungie go that far again with the ornament system. Like how when they did Age of Triumph, all the... Uh, all the new raid gear had insane ornaments on them. That's what I want to see ornaments be like. Completely different, not just different textures, not just different patterns. Another thing about Destiny 1 is the snipers. They are amazing. And not only this, but being able to have a sniper and a heavy weapon, or like a shotgun and a heavy weapon, it's just, I don't know, it was perfect. I don't know why they changed the, the gun meta at all in Destiny 2, it kind of sucks. So when Destiny 2 first came out, the snipers were so bad. Not until just recently actually did the snipers get very good and become meta. So now like some legendary snipers are pretty good, like the EP sniper is pretty good. Um, but mainly the Darcy and the Whisper of Worm are just insane. The Whisper of Worm especially. Uh, it is the best gun in the game by far. So it's kind of funny how snipers went from absolute garbage tier to completely overpowered. So come Forsaken, they're freeing up our weapon slots so we can use whatever we want. You could use three shotguns, you could use three snipers, you can do all, pretty much almost anything you want, um, which is awesome, which gives more freedom than Destiny 1 had. So I believe that this weapon system they're creating here is going to be better than the one they had in Destiny 1. Um, which is a huge step forward from what Destiny 2 previously had. And the final thing that I really miss about Destiny 1 is the mobility. Um, they, there's just nothing compares in Destiny 2 to how agile and fast your characters could be. And that's kind of the, one of the things about Destiny 1 that I, or Destiny 2 that I really hate is just, you just feel so slow all the time. It sucks. So when this video came out, Destiny 2 was horribly slow everything was so slow it was obnoxious um now it's almost as good as destiny one the movement they had the go fast update which increased movement speeds by i'm pretty sure just 25 percent across the board which is cool i think they also made mobility like the stat mobility they made it um worthful they actually gave it a use i believe so i'm not 100 percent. i don't really care to look at any patch notes and too goddamn lazy to do that. Um, besides that, they've updated some exotics such as the Stompies. So the Stompies now affect triple jump, which means that triple jump is now, it's, it's like two higher jumps than it usually is, which is nice. That gives you more vertical mobility and more strafing mobility. What they need to do is get rid of the Stompies and just put the bones at AO in, and then we'll be good because those things just give you an extra jump, period. So you can just use strafe jump and be good for the rest of your life. Titans have it uh, pretty good on PC. They can Titan skate really fast with um, specific conditions. Like if they're using the line rampants, they can go really fast. If they're going up hills, they can go ridiculously fast, like faster than D1 skating. Um, they have to have low mobility though to do that, of course. So Titans are pretty much almost where they were in D1. Warlocks in Destiny 2 are pretty much as good, if not better, than they were in Destiny 1. This is because of swords and the um, World Line Zero, I believe it's called, the exotic sword from the Warmind. Um, Destiny 1 Warlocks skated by using sword swings. They do the same thing in Destiny 2, but you just have less ammo. So it's essentially the same thing. 
Um, you can also use the World Line Zero, as I said, to get insane speed with a Warlock, it, which is way faster than Destiny 1. So I think, in terms of mobility, Hunters are still getting the shit end of the stick, Titans are almost to where they were, and Warlocks have it better than they did in Destiny 1. Overall, Destiny 2 has made large strides towards being a better game. It still has a ways to go, but it's getting there. And with Forsaken, and with the launch of Forsaken, I believe it will be almost to where Destiny 1 was in year 3, which is very exciting. Um, it still has minor things that always need adjusting. Every game does. It could always use something, you know, some little sprinkle on the top, little cherry on the top. But every game can use that, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on the game for having things that it didn't even have in Destiny 1. But yeah, that concludes this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and and hopefully I'll see you all on Forsaken. All right, peace out, guys.